Hello, this is Alyssa uh, with Patriot Marketing. Um, we had reached out to you earlier today and promised this free video. Um, so anyways, here it is, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just wanted to show you guys a few tips and tricks that you guys could really use to maximize your traffic online. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first of all, I love this whole video thing that shows your work. I think it is really aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I love that. Um, but also this click to call button is really great and your free um, estimate is also really good. Those help with converting people over as clients, especially since that's up at the top. Um, also, you can they can click on a list of services right there so they can go straight to what they're looking for. Um, so with that said, there was one thing I did notice on the website, whereas you're really doing well in your images and uh, where things are placed on the website, um, I noticed there wasn't really much content except for uh, this little paragraph here. And content is anything that I can highlight, whether it be text or images. Um, in this case, um, I'd be talking about the text. Uh, your images are really great. Uh, but the reason why you want a lot of uh, uh, text content is so that you can rank for a lot of different keywords. Um, keywords like um, home remodeling San Diego or remodeling San Diego, uh, San Diego remodeling, a lot of these, um, you know, these are great things to rank for. There's a lot of volume, search volume that is can be had for your field of work and your area that you're in. 1.6 thousand. Uh, that's a lot of searches per month. Um, and even just this one, uh, Kitchen Remodeling San Diego or Home Remodeling San Diego, they have 300 search volume per month and 250 search volume per month. So those are some, um, and especially since Kitchen Remodeling has low competition at a seven, single digits. That's what a uh, keyword we would want in there. But the, these are all things that when people search for when they use these keywords, they're not able to find you because you don't have it anywhere in your content. Um, so you definitely want to be looking for those keywords and getting those keywords in there um, so that way you can be found. It is really important to put yourself in a position to be found. Um, and how you would do that would be having a website with the content and keywords that you want and need to be found for. And I would even go so far, so adding more content and keywords and also like going as far as saving these images as, uh, well, hold on, let me actually find an image. Uh, maybe saving, okay, saving the image, this one's an image back here. So saving the image as, uh, as one of those keywords and then re-uploading it to the website, uh, then that, that image now counts as content towards your website. Um, it's a really sneaky way of actually putting uh, keywords into your content or onto your website without actually putting it on the text. Um, so that's really, really nifty way of doing that. Um, and keywords and content is super crucial when it comes to ranking and, and Google and everything. Because when Google crawls your website, they see that not only you have the content, but you have the keyword verbatim within your content. Um, it allows you to rank faster and more efficiently uh, because uh, Google feels that the more content you have, the more likely you are to be an expert in your field. At the end of the, the day, their whole goal is that whoever is searching on their website or on their platform, um, you know, gets the information quickly and efficiently. So those experts that Google deems to be an expert uh, are going to rank higher so that they can get it um, faster. Um, so that's why that is super important and it's just something to keep in mind um, and take into consideration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next tip and that would be to build upon this Google business profile here. Um, and it would be really giving yourself a chance to be getting as much traffic to your website as possible. Um, if we take a look here, it, it, what I mean by getting like a lot of traffic is when someone searches uh, on any given keyword, 
there's a lot of ways in which people can convert over as a client. So I'm going to go over to this other tab here just because the first one I'm going to talk about is not at the top. And I just want to show you what it looks like. So um, not your field of work, but it's the same area. You have these uh, uh, local ads here. Um, they capture the people that click on the very first thing that they see. Um, these have a very high conversion rate. Um, when you hover your mouse over these local ads, a little drop down comes down and uh, it shows how many years you are in business and uh, gives the company name. So when somebody uh, clicks on that number and they're already taking the time out of their day to call you, they're more likely to convert over as a client. Um, and there's also Google guaranteed up to a certain dollar amount. So if something happens or goes wrong, uh, the people using Google ad, uh, local ads, um, you know, trust that it'll, Google will make it right monetarily. Um, now I'm going to go back over here because the rest of what I'm going to talk about is contained on this tab. The Google ads themselves, they're located under the local ads. Um, they don't have as high of a conversion rate. Uh, however, they're a lot cheaper than the local ads are and they give you a chance to be seen by a lot of different people just because of their location on the page. They're at the very top underneath the local ads if there are any. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. The next thing I'm going to go over is this Google Map Pack. Did not mean to zoom in there. Um, so the, the Google Map Pack, the people who search this way, and I am one of them, um, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. I like to see how far they are from my house so that when I'm driving, you know, I, 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 know, well, I want to know where they're at. Um, so with that said, uh, the people ranking here in the Google Map Pack, uh, they can pull up to 80% of the traffic. So if people were coming in on a keyword of, say that we were using Kitchen Remodeling San Diego, California, so that has a search volume of 250. You're looking at the majority of that search volume going to those competitors. So that here is going to be uh, with the search volume of 250, you're looking at 200 going straight over to these guys, your competitors. So there goes that, that uh, traffic right there, gone. So, um, but another way in which you can pull traffic to your website is by ranking organically. And ranking organically, the concept is the concept is pretty simple. Uh, the higher your ranking in Google, the more uh, traffic you're going to pull to your website. So these people here are doing way better than the ones all the way down here, and people rarely go to that second page of Google. So yeah. Uh, it's really important to keep in mind that you want to be ranking high enough to be num uh, on the first page of Google in order to get that traffic. So, um, yeah. So with that said, I'm going to move on to my third and final tip. Um, and this is where we get technical. In order to rank organically, you do need to build up the strength of your website. So I pulled you up in my little tool that shows where you're at in your online presence. Um, in order to build the strength of your website, you do need to add backlinks and referring domains. Backlinks, unfortunately, are not all created equal. You have good quality backlinks and poor quality ones. The poor quality ones um, aren't going to do anything for you, so they're a waste of time and money. You want all your backlinks to be good quality backlinks. Uh, referring domains, um, the best way to do it, to describe what that is. Uh, for example, if so, you did services for somebody um, and they decided to blog about the services that you provided them and they have a link from their blog to your website, that would count as a referring domain. Those referring domains pack a lot of power and the more power you have, the higher these numbers are going to be. And generally with uh, remodelers and contractors, we want to see them in the 20s, 30s, 40s range. Uh, looks like you're 25 um, in that range, uh, but we also want to see you at a one-to-one -one ratio. So with DR, we would want to see that come up. You have 7.15 thousand back, backlinks and 3.16 thousand 
referring domains. You're ranking for 150 keywords and generating, generating an organic traffic of 47. So you're probably thinking that you're not doing too bad. Let's take a look at one of your competitors. So I decided to choose, I believe I chose uh, these guys right here, Jackson Design and Remodeling. They are not in the Google Map Pack. However, they're ranking high enough to be number one. And so I thought they had to have good model, uh, good, good numbers. So that's why I chose them as your competitors. This is their website. They have that content and I think this content, but that's about it. They could probably work on their content as well. Um, but I really want to see this. Um, so almost at a one-to-one -one ratio, UR46, DR43. So they're uh, in the 40s range. They have 21.7 thousand backlinks. 2.18 thousand referring domains have an have they're ranking for 3.7 thousand organic keywords and they're generating an organic traffic of 1.6 thousand per month to their website so this is where they're at this is where you are at um if we take a look at some of these keywords um, you are ranking for a lot of uh, service keywords, uh, but you also want to make sure that whenever you're doing that, uh, you also have good keywords as well. So like these high competition ones that are double digits, you don't want though to be, uh, I mean, you can rank for them, but you want more of the low competition ones. So if we take a look at these guys, they have a lot of row, low uh competition ones they have a lot of high competition ones as well but they also have a just a bunch more keywords that they're ranking for than you are um so i hope that this has been helpful and informative um i would really really just focus mainly on these backlinks and referring domains um for the most part and that content and keyword stuff adding more of that um if you, you know, if, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me or my husband. We would both love to chat with you and help you out in any way that we can and love to get in touch with you in whatever time fits for you. So with that, you have a great day and God bless.